What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another product by the company Olala. Some of you will remember a little while back, I did a review on that iPhone 6 case that they made that had a built-in power bank inside of the case. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Olala 7500 milliamp sliding door power bank with built-in cables. So it has a built-in lightning cable and a built-in USB cable. And this is pretty cool because now you don't need to take the cables with you. The cables to charge your phone and plug it into the power bank are actually built into this power bank. And this product is also Apple M5 certified, so that's nice. It goes for sale on Amazon for about $43. So I'll put some links down below on where you guys can buy this for yourself. I think it does just come in one color and it's kind of like a dull brushed, a little bit of a rose gold color. And to put it in perspective, 7500 milliamps. The iPhone 6 Plus battery size, the one that I have, is about 3000 milliamps. So this battery will be capable of charging my iPhone up to two and a half times on one charge. So along with those two charging cables, they also say this has an input port of 5 volts 2 amps and an output port of 5 volts 2.4 amps and that it can be fully charged by a 2A adapter for only 5 hours and it has 4 small little LED lights that tell you how much charge it has on it and it also has 7 layers of smart safety protection. So that information is all straight from their Amazon page and this is the battery itself right here. It's not all that big, it's kind of about the size of my iPhone as far as the length and height goes, not the width. And the top of this here you can see it's kind of like that dull goldish color. And the top and bottom of it are plastic. And then taking a look at it and feeling it, I believe the side trim, the little gray part, it kind of feels like it is metal so... I think that is metal right there, the top and bottom are plastic and then the side feels like it is metal. And it has a good weight and feel to it. It doesn't feel hollow or flimsy. It feels like something that would hold up over time just upon my first initial impressions. You can see those other ports I was talking about. And then those four little holes where the LED indicator light spots. And then inside this package we also have the little instruction manual. And then you're going to see this little white cord tucked in here. This is the cable that you would actually use to charge up the power bank when it runs out of juice and it has USB to what I believe is micro USB and if you are going to charge this with a wall you will need a wall to USB adapter. So this is the instruction manual right here and I'm going to take a couple of minutes to briefly look through this and then I'm going to take a look at the power bank. Taking a look back at the power bank I just finished reading that manual you're going to have your one little power button on the side of the power bank and then to actually flip it open you just take the top of it and you kind of slightly apply some pressure to slide the door open and if you're looking at the word Olala it's going to be sliding the door upwards. And opening this up you can see the two cables in here one of them is a lightning cable and the other one is a full size USB cable. Now it's important to note that this isn't a micro USB cable and I'm not sure why because it seems like more phones use a micro USB cable than this full sized one so I don't know why they went with a full size one like that but they have both these cables in here and then in order to close the door you just tuck the cables back in and you got to make sure that they're not sticking up at all otherwise the door won't close. And that's pretty much all there is to it and the door itself won't open further than that so you don't need to worry about it opening too far that is as far as it will open. I am going to take out the lightning cable right now and I'm going to test this out to see if it comes with a charge. Um, holding down the power button over here. I am seeing the LED indicator lights come on so I am guessing I will be able to charge my device with this right now. A lot of times they will ship out these batteries with a charge already on them so that's nice. I'm going to be using my iPhone 6 Plus which has an internal battery of about 3000 milliamps so I could get about two and a half full charges when my power bank is fully charged up. And you can see right away it did register that it is now charging so this device is completely operational right out of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and now unplug this and I'm going to take this out for maybe a week or so. I'm going to test it out, I'm going to put it through some real life scenarios and I'm going to report back to you guys on how I like the product and if I saw any flaws in it and I'm going to give you guys my final review then. So I'm back with the Olala power bank review. I ended up testing this out for just under a week, I used it for about 6 days on and off throughout each day. and. One thing I really have to note is that I found the opening and closing of this door very satisfying. 
Even when I wasn't using the power bank and I was just sitting in the car in the passenger seat on a ride somewhere, I found that it was nice passing the time just opening and closing that door. I found it kind of fun. It's kind of one of those things that you kind of fidget with a bit. And it was very satisfying opening and closing that door. I didn't find that this power bank overheated at all and I found that it performed exactly as described. It charged my phone up about close to three times on one full charge and it was very dependable. I didn't have any issues with it. The only con that I could really say is the fact that they put that full size USB in there. I really think they need to change that over to micro USB because I did have a friend who has another smartphone. It is an Android smartphone. His phone has a micro USB on it and he wanted to charge with this device but he was unable to. But besides that, this product held up exactly as advertised. And one other little thing to mention is that I think they can come down with the price a little bit. $43 is a little bit high for a power bank just because so many people have such dirt cheap power banks out there on the market. And I know this quality, the quality on this one is a bit higher than some of those, but I still think they could come down to maybe like $35 I could see myself paying for this. Now I did want to show you guys this little feature too because I didn't show you guys this originally. You can pull out the cable and then if you pull it out all the way, you can actually close the door and have the cable just sticking out, so that's pretty cool. And I also want to note that this, another name for this is the S75. They don't say it on their Amazon page, but the box and the back of the battery both say Model S75, so you may see it called S75 other places. But overall, I did like this product a lot. I think they need to change it to a micro USB and maybe come down with the price a little bit. But I thought it was a really great idea. And honestly, it was so much more convenient than bringing around a power cable and a power bank. Having the power cable built in just made life a whole lot easier. And I'm definitely going to use this as my power bank that I take with me. Because I have like five or six and I never know what one to use. But this kind of makes my decision easy. I'm definitely going to be using this one for the time being. So overall, I give this product like a 9 out of 10, and I'll put a link down below on where you can buy it for yourself. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for a bunch more great reviews just like this. And as always, guys, thank you for watching from XM360.